And what is going on everybody? Welcome back to Excel Yourself for another video. I know a Friday upload. This is a little out of the ordinary, but this is probably the only time I can squeeze these sales videos in because we have a ton of clips to go through guys. I, uh, every time I record a sales video, like an intro and I plan to, you know, edit the video the following week, I typically don't edit it. So like, you know, three or four weeks after that. So it just piles up and piles up and piles up. And I just don't even want to deal with it after a while, but we're, I'm making a, uh, a conscious effort to get through all these sales clips and get these sales videos up on the channel for you guys. So you can see your purchases and all the other items that are moving out of my accelerator store. But uh, let's go ahead and jump into this sales video. And then next up, we sold another one of the big boys from the Gen 2 line. This was the Gen 2 Accelicharged Series Battle Spec. And it was on a pretty good blister too, honestly. It did have a little bit of creasing and scratching up at the top. But uh, overall, compared to some of the blisters that I've gotten recently for Gen 2 cars, this was in pretty darn good shape overall. But uh, the grand total on this order was $165, even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed. And next up, we sold three more trading cards. These were all international edition cards. So it was that three pack from the Iridium pack opening with the Iridium, Vector Iridium, and the Batsform cards. Definitely love these full art cards. They're pretty good looking. It's just a shame that uh, there's not more of them floating around out there on eBay because uh, it'd be pretty cool to be able to make a listing for these just like I have for the regular trading cards. But the grand total on this order was $10, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And the last order of the day was a lot of three loose, lightly worn accelerators cars. It was a CM6 Orange Wing Drift Tech, a CM6 Rolling Thunder, and a CM6 RDO6, all minor scuffs and scratches here. The grand total was $22 even for these three. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed. And next up, we sold a lot of 15 Near Mint Man cards. Let's flip through them real quick. It was my last copy of Night Sights. We are now out of stock. Then it was Draft, Riveted, Frictionless, Spine Buster, Acceleron Virus, Dragon Torch, two of my favorite card arts right there. And I think that was my last copy of Dragon Torch. Then we had Suspension Enhancers, Molten River, Racing Slicks, Active Camouflage, my last copy of Hydro Glide running theme here, Rev Matching, and then a copy of the Micro Realm, which I think I have two more copies of. And then my second to last copy of RDO9. Um, this is one of the ones that we got in that last pack opening, I believe. So total in this order was $101 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And next up, some more trading cards. 16 Nirmit to make cards. It was two copies of Second Wind O2 Tank, two copies of Spy Eye, and a copy of All or Nothing. Then we had Sand Speed, Toxic Gators, love that card art there. Diffusion Glass, The Blizzard Realm, Stone Colossus, two copies of Vector Thrust, Proto Sharks, which I think I have one more copy of. Then we had the Cosmic Realm and two copies of Spike Tires to wrap it up. The total on this order was $50 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And next up, we sold another one of the big boys. This was the factory sealed set pile driver from the Wall of Power. So it's a one of 500 pile driver. Definitely not sure how many of them are still carted out there. But uh, the grand total on this order was $145 even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold some more played condition cards. So it was two lots of 22 lightly played to heavily played condition cards. One featured a cliffside realm, one featured a battle spec, and a played condition copy of the cyber grid realm that had some whitening on it. I don't remember if it had a crease or not. I think it might have just been whitening. It's a little dusty, actually. But uh, the grand total on this order, oh yeah, there it is down there. But the grand total on this order was $68, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed. All right, guys, next up, we sold three more Loose Mint cars, which were, you probably guessed it, three Loose Mint RDO 6s. One of these did have the deep green wheels. Let me see if I can move my light here for you guys. Get a little bit of a better angle, but these cars look absolutely sweet. There's something about the black paint of the drone cars with that gloss black finish, just absolutely gorgeous. But uh, the grand total on this order was $37, even to a new buyer, I believe. So thank you for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And then the other order of the day was a Pack Fresh Reverb card. This was one of the ones that I posted in that uh, community post that I unfortunately opened off camera it's just the way it goes but uh, the grand total on this order was 36 dollars, even to a another return buyer so thanks for that purchase hopefully you enjoy i know this buyer's getting close to completing their set and next up we sold a lot of two carded cars which were a cm6 rdo9 new in package it did have a little bit of wear on it here and there and a carded cm6 iridium so the grand total on this order was 55 dollars, even to a new buyer so thanks for that purchase hopefully you enjoy and next up, we sold a lot of three loose used accelerators cars, and these were all ones that did not roll. They all had one wheel that didn't roll or it veered real sharp in one direction. Like, I think all these wheels rolled on this RDO 6, but for some reason it like shoots off in a different direction. So it's got some sort of axle damage to it. But uh, the grand total on this order was $18 even for these three, which are probably gonna make really good custom wheel donors. I think that's actually what the guy said he was gonna do with them. So it's an Iridium, uh, Deep Green Wheels, RDO6, and a CM6 Rolling Thunder. So $18 even, thanks for that purchase. 
And next up, we sold a lot of three Acceleracers International Edition cards, which were Vector, Iridium, Bat Swarm, and Iridium. These were from those uh, the pile of Iridium International packs. And the same buyer also purchased an Octanium card that was in mint condition. So the grand total in this order was $40 even for everything here. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed. And next up, we sold a lot of four more Acceleracers trading cards, which were all pretty uncommon ones. So first up, we have Technetium 2 from the Acceleracers starter set, and then three rares, which were RDO 5, Always uh, puzzled by that photo there. And then uh, Pile Driver, one of the best looking Metal Maniac cards in the card game. And a foil copy of the Desert Realm. Absolutely beautiful card art. The Desert Reactor and Lava Realms are absolutely gorgeous. So these four cards went out to a return buyer. The grand total in this order was $100 even. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold a lot of 12 near mint to mint cards. Let's flip through them real quick. It was a copy of the Junk Realm, the Chrome Realm, Suspension Enhancers, the Swamp Realm, Hack Mimic, the Labyrinth Realm, two copies of Shortcut, Hyper Spectite, two copies of Impervious Tires, and the Cosmic Realm to wrap it up. Bunch of great looking cards there, honestly. The total in this order was $60 even to a return buyer, so thanks for that purchase. And next up, we sold one of the split wheel variation Rolling Thunders. This was the one that had the CM6 in the front and the CM5 in the back. The uh, grand total in this order was $55 even to a return buyer, so thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. All right, guys, so we had a big flurry of sales last night. First things first, one buyer bought three Gen 2 cars, which were the International Edition Drone Baseline. You can tell it's the International Edition because it doesn't have the uh, series name underneath the little logo. And also the back of the card is completely different from the English Edition. So it was the International Edition Drone Baseline and then the Accela Charged Series RD08, definitely one of my favorite paint jobs in the Gen 2 line. That's not strip metal, at least. And then a Gen 2 Accela Charged Series pile driver. Once again, love the clear body on these Accela Charged Series cars. So one buyer purchased all three of these. The grand total was $305 even to a new buyer, I believe. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold a 3D foil Octo Rod Hyperpod car. There's a little bit of dust on the team bag just uh, from taking some photos of it and laying around. But check out the picture on that card, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. This card was in near mint condition. I think I didn't classify it as mint because mainly because it had two little spots, I think one right there and one right there that uh, would not come off there, not flex of dust, even though there's a lot of dust on this team bag. I'll dust it off or ship it out. But uh, anyways, guys, love the picture on this card. Definitely the rarest mod card. Even though Jump Jets is not a 3D foil, I think Jump Jets is rarer than Octorod Hyperpod. Well, I don't know, I'd really have to consider it because uh, Jump Jets you can pull out of three packs and booster packs, whereas Octorod Hyperpod you can only get out of booster packs. But the pull rate on this seems to be a lot more common than Jump Jets. But who knows, nobody's opened up enough booster packs to really know because unfortunately they are like $150 a pop these days. But uh, the grand total in this order was $247, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase, hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold a lot of four Accelerators cars, which were a Loose Mint CM6 Satin Red Hollowback, absolutely gorgeous. And then it was three Lightly Worn cars, which were a CM6 Rolling Thunder, a CM6 Iridium, and a CM6 RDO6 to wrap it up. So great looking lot of cars here. And honestly, guys, gosh, there's just something about that Satin Red Hollowback. It absolutely blows all these other cars out of the water. But uh, the grand total on this order was $46, even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, guys, another 3D foil gone. This is a 3D foil torqued jackhammer. It was in moderately worn condition. As you can see, it's got some wear around the edges. It is kind of tough on these 3D foils to tell what's wear and what's just the edge of the card because the edges sometimes have that sort of hollow effect that uh, that's in the middle of the card. Sometimes you can see it around the edges as soon as it gets even the tiniest bit of wear. But um, the big issue here was this back corner um, on the bottom. It was pretty scuffed up. But other than that, it honestly wasn't in that bad of shape. But the grand total in this order was $225, even to a return buyer who I think is now three cards away from a complete set. So congratulations and thanks for your purchase. And next up guys, two more 3D foils gone. These things are selling like hotcakes. So first up is the 3D foil Vector Anthracite. Love how you can see the side decals on that car. Absolutely gorgeous. And uh, it does kind of roll across the card a little bit, but not much, not as much movement as, you know, like Wrong Way has. But it was the 3D foil Vectra Anthracite. And then the same buyer also purchased the 3D foil torqued jackhammer that was from the uncut sheet of 3D foils. As you can see, it's got square corners. And honestly, guys, I kind of prefer the square corners look, honestly. I think they look a little bit sharper, but uh, I get the square corners, you know, nick up a lot more easily than, uh, you know, rounded corners for collectors. But anyway, still very cool. Love the graphic on this card. But the grand total on this order was $450 even for these two. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy all right, guys, let's go through the sales from over the weekend. So first things first, we had a lot of eight near mint to mint cards, which were Vector Nitrium, Vector Magnesium, Nitrium, 
Vectra Iridium, lots of silencers in here. Anthracite, Battle Spec, Vectra Octanium, and then my last copy of RDO5 that I had in stock for the moment. Once again, RDO5 sells very quickly. Um, not really sure if it's just super high demand or if it's just a card that people are always missing. I don't know, but uh, definitely seems to sell faster than RDO9 and RDO8. That is for sure. But the total on this order was $56 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed. And next up, we had another lot of Accelerator's cards. These were six rares and foils. So let's go through them real quick. First, it was my last copy of Featherframe, one of the prettiest hollows in the game. Absolutely gorgeous. Same buyer also purchased a copy of High Voltage. A copy of, or I should say my only copy of Cub Light. So Cub Light once again out of stock. Then my second to last copy of Spectite is now gone. My only copy of Flathead Fury. So we're going to need a lot of rare vehicle pulls in the next uh, pack opening video. And then my last copy of Octanium that I had for the moment. So the grand total on this order was $150 even for all these rares. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed. And next up, we saw another one of the error or variation rolling thunders that had the split wheels with the CM6 in the front and the CM5 in the back. Not really sure if you call it an error or a variation. I think the line is uh, pretty blurry there for a lot of people. But uh, the grand total on this order was $65 even going out to a guy who collects variations. So pretty cool that it's going to a collector who will appreciate it for sure. And then the last purchase of the day was a carded high voltage. It's a little bit dusty. I should dust it off before I ship it out. But the grand total on this order was $65 even to another return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. Not gonna lie, guys, I accidentally packaged up a couple of trading card orders before I remembered to record them, so I did miss out on a couple orders today. Sorry about that, guys. But uh, next up, we sold the last split wheel rolling thunder. This was the one with the CM5s in the front. The other two had the CM5s in the back, but the grand total of this order was $70 even out to the, uh, the guy who collects tons of variations. So hopefully it was a welcome addition to his collection. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And the last purchase of the day was a carded CM6 RDO9 that was on a pretty mint blister, actually. I think it had a little bit of creasing or like an indention on the back. You know, sometimes they have an indention. Yep, there it is around where the uh, where the plastic connects on the front. But anyways, total on this order was $58, even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase and hopefully enjoy. All right, guys. So we had some massive accelerators trading card orders last night. Let's go through the first one real quick. It was a ton of rare cards. So uh, first things first, it was a lot of eight near mint cement cards, which were two copies of pick a line, smooth driving, toxic gators, the Canyon realm, which I have one copy of left two copies of scorpion ambush, a copy of technetium, which I'm now out of stock on again, just struggle to get that card in stock these days. And uh, then my last 3d foil wrong way card that was from the uncut sheet guys. Um, out of stock again on wrong way. It's just such a great card art. Honestly, I mean, even though it's probably the most common of the 3D foils, the card art on it is truly second to none. I mean, how cool is that? You got cars moving across the card. I mean, the Metro Realm card art is pretty wicked too, but this is just absolutely wicked. But anyway, so we also purchased that wrong way card and a carded RDO9, which I assume will probably be open for the trading cards. Hopefully there's a jump jets in here just uh, waiting to be released. But uh, the grand total on this order was $248 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And next up, yet another order of Accelerator's trading cards. This one was a ton of rares and foils. So let's flip through real quick. It was 11 total cards. So it was two copies of Emergency Break, two copies of Reb Matching, then the foil bootleg reverse card that I pulled in that last pack opening, then a foil home track advantage card. So the two shift foils, both out of stock immediately as soon as I got them in. It didn't used to be that way, but they're pretty popular these days. Then it was a copy of Pile Driver, a copy of Shell Skin Foil, which I only have one more of left. And I love that card, R2. That's another great one. Then my last copy of RDO5 that I had in stock at the moment. My last copy of RDO9 that I had in stock at the moment. This is a running theme here. This is pretty much clean me out of a bunch of rares. And then my last copy of Foil Vector Carbide. I need a new team bag on that one. It's a little dusty. But I still have a couple of Vector Cub Lights, but Vector Carbide has been the tougher of the two for me to find. Just, I don't know if one's really rarer than the other, but that's definitely the one that I struggle to come across the most. But uh, the grand total on this order was $176, even for all these rares and foils. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed and next up, we sold a lightly played copy of Cove Light. The only real issue that I had was this tiny little bit of whitening down here, but it was one of those where it's uh, not necessarily just whitening, but it looks like a little like bend as well. It's hard to explain. It's just a little bit more than like a scuff of whitening, but uh, that was the only thing that was wrong with this card. It came out of the pack with just that one um, little issue there. It's always kind of a bummer. But uh, anyways, the total on this order was $17, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And that little uh, scuff of whitening was the difference between it being, you know, a $17 card and a $25 to $30 card, you know, so it's just the way she goes sometimes, right? And next up, we sold three more near mint cards, which were Forest Inferno, 
Escher's World. And then my last copy of Flathead Fury that I had in stock at the moment. So gone once again. Flathead Fury and Pile Driver just sell so freaking fast every time I get them in stock. But the grand sum on this order was $40 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. All right, guys. Next up, we sold a Loose Mint CM6 RDO9 from one of the many RDO9 pack openings. It is just such a gorgeous car, Loose Mint. I just, uh, that matte paint on it really just makes it pop but uh anyways guys i'm always looking for new adjectives because i end up saying you know pop wicked unreal incredible i, I really need to buy a thesaurus or something for describing some of these cars but uh, the grand total on this order was 40 dollars, even once you include shipping and handling so thanks for that purchase hopefully you enjoy and next up we sold another lot of 22 lightning played and heavily played cards these are selling almost as fast as i can list them these days i guess a lot of people are using it to play the card game but the grand total on this order was 27 dollars, even so thanks for that purchase and then the last order of the day was this Gen 2 Team Color Series RDO9 that is a little dusty. Once again, I need to dust it off. But uh, the grand total on this order was $55, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, a couple more rare Excel Research cards selling. So first things first, we sold the last copy of Pile Driver that I had in stock for a grand total of $34 even. And I think this was the last non-3D foil card that that buyer needed. So congratulations on completing the, uh, the non-3D foil set. And next up, a buyer purchased my last copy of the Cyber Grid Realm that I had in stock for a grand total of $32, even when you include shipping. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And guys, I'm not gonna lie, my rares, I think I'm down to like nine total rare cards. I had like over a hundred at one point and we're down to about nine that are individually top loaded. So you guys have absolutely crushed my rare supply. Alrighty, a couple of sales to go through from over the weekend. So first things first, two more lots of lightly played to heavily played condition cards sold. So a total of 44 cards to a new buyer for a grand total of $68. Even though I'm running very low on these played condition cards. So if you are looking to get some to play the card game with, I definitely would not wait too long to grab them. And next up, another buyer purchased two cards, which was a near mint to mint copy of Folding Corners and a lightly played condition copy of Octanium, which is definitely one of the harder non-foil silencers vehicles to find up there with, you know, Cub Light and uh, Technetium. But the grand total in this order was $22, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And then the last order of the weekend was a lot of three loose mint cars, which were a CM6 RDO9, a CM6 RDO6, which I'm starting to run a little bit low on, and a CM6 Iridium, which I have buckets of. But uh, the grand total in this order was $64, even to a new buyer as well. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy your cars. And that is going to wrap it up for the sales video, guys. If you enjoyed seeing your purchases and all the items moving in and out of my eBay Accelerators store, be sure to smash the like button for me. Subscribe to the Accelerators for more sellers-related content. And I'll catch you guys on Monday in the next video. Peace out, guys.